Charles Darwin wrote wonderful sentences, beautiful books, and fabulous phrases. And one of my favorites is when he describes his mind being a chaos of delight after seeing many of the splendid life forms in a Brazilian forest. So we have asked everyone who's been involved in this app when they experience that chaos of delight. Um, because I've started to uh, go back to a thing that I really wanted to do for years, I've started to direct stuff and uh, a sitcom and what have you, and I absolutely love the process of it. I love the I love uh, the finding out of it. I like the fact that I'm surrounded by technicality. I love that. I like finding out all of the. Uh, I like finding out how that works. I like finding out how those lights there work. I like fi finding all of that stuff out and and how those things make a difference and how those things and how knowing how those things work makes a difference to what we see and what we feel when we are uh, viewing uh, you know, anything. I, um, I like uh, figuring stuff out with, um, with uh, the actors so as to make uh, every little moment, you can read as much as you can behind any given moment so that nothing is lost, nothing is wasted. And then taking all of the massive footage that you use the camera and the lights and the actors for, plonking it into an, uh, into an edit, Sweet, having hours of this stuff and having to kind of look at it like that and then making it over a, a process of kind of real refinement that takes just you know draft after draft after draft to do, finding something that is so it, that works so well that people will watch it for half an hour and switch it off and not worry. And I love that. Because it's, a, it's an incredibly technical, again, it's a marrying of the technical and the, um, and the artistic. It, 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 editing stuff makes me genuinely excited because, uh, because it allows you to understand you know, how stories are put together, uh, how, uh, how you can, uh, um, how you can manipulate uh, people's emotions, how you can sell them dummies as to what's going to happen, how you can make something over there more exciting by making something here slightly different, how rhythms of speech and behavior and story work. And story's a really interesting idea because, uh, you know, it, story I think is probably something incredibly, um, I, I, think it, I think there's something innate about how we tell and react to stories. And I think the more you go about trying to tell stories, the more um, you discover a, about how that works, about what the kind of ur grammar underneath all of that is. And I think that's quite revealing about actually how we are. Uh, uh, there are. When you make a show, there are three times when you tell the story. There's the writing, um, which is fascinating. It's fascinating to get a script and go, well, what does that, you know, what does that line mean for that? And is that not a, a beat? This seems too long. We need to take that out. You know, uh, there's that. There's the actual performing of it, and there's the edit, which is an incredibly, as my friend Matt says, that's the most powerful time at which you tell a story. And the learning about telling the story is, it, it, nothing excites me more. There's not a single bit of that process that I don't absolutely love.